Unit 4. Develop and extend SAP Fiori for SAP Business One with Service Layer. Part 2. SAP Fiori App connecting to Service Layer via Service Layer JavaScript. At the end of this session, you will be able to explain how to call Service Layer with the Service Layer JavaScript and how to set up and run the sample of Fiori App for the cancel and closing sales order I show you in last session. Here is the step uh, for set up the sample Fiori app using the service layer with service JavaScript. Step 0. We're going to import the sample Fiori app with the SAP HANA application lifecycle management tool. You will be able to find the Fiori app the sample Fiori app in the exercise project folder, which is named as DUSL Fiori app, service side JavaScript. That was the delivery unit for this sample app. And if you would like to understand more about the life cycle management of SB HANA application, you can refer to, to this URL uh, for more info, for more details. So basically, this live commands tool is a web-based tool uh, which allows you to um, develop and package, bundle your application and as a delivery unit or as product, and then uh, export and import to the customer system uh, for your configuration. And first of all, in order to using this live management tool, you will need to assign uh, some user role uh, for the in order to use this tool. The role uh, we re, we assigned uh, we will need to using the um, LAM role administrator. This is the administrator for the lifecycle management, which allow you to uh, to export, to import, execute, so on and so forth. Okay, and once you have assigned this role to your user, and then you can assessing uh, the SB Fiori app. Uh, we uh, from the uh, editor, you can click the quick link uh, live cycle management when you open it, or either you can open it uh, with the with the URL here. To import the sample theory app, uh, we are going to import the delivery unit uh, of the sample theory app. Therefore, we're going to click the del delivery unit. And then we're going to using the import function. Confirm to import. Import operation finished. And now if we go back to the editor, as a result, we'll be able to find out the sample field app has been imported into our HANA editor. So let's have a look at the code structure. The entry point of this Fiori app is the login page. So basically, the login page, um, when you you need to uh, log into the service layer first before you uh, do accessing to the other business logic. And then inside the login page handler, uh, you make uh, a JAX call uh, to the uh, SSGS and B1S logic and then pass the command as login. Basically, it's calling the Service side JavaScript, uh, JavaScript layer, uh, generic layer uh, to handle the service call, uh, service, uh, the call to service layer. And once you have been um, succeed to connect the service layer, uh, you'll get the session ID as well as row ID from the cookie and store in the global variable uh, session ID, which is defined in the global uh, the JS. And here, in the, and then once you have a succeed to log in. And you need to pass in this session ID and row ID uh, in uh, when you call the service layer. And if you look at the uh, the B1S or logic as a JS, basically this is a generic service accessory uh, to call in service layer, which can be using in your future theory application development if you would like to using the service accessory to call service layer. And then you have a generic function called service layer, uh, the path, you could be login. Or it could be the uh, object like orders, like business partner, method, 
if it's a get, it's going to be uh, make a, a retrieve the, to the object get orders or post to create a sales order, pass to update sales order, and the body was the, the payload, the request payload uh, body. As you can see, you're going to pass the session ID and raw ID, which is catching in the, var in the global variable uh, in the global.js. And here, as you can see, it's going to, uh, as suicide JavaScript is going to make an outgoing HTTP call uh, by getting the destination, which is like the uh, host and port as, as well, which is defined in the um, uh, B1SO HTTP destination, which is actually matching the exact uh, the package um, here, 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 here. And then inside this file, um, the first thing you need to do is you're going to replace uh, here with the service layer uh, with, your, with the host of the service layer and it must be identical as the common name in the service layer uh, certificate for my service layer uh, the, the common name in the certificate is let's save it and then once I have let, let's go back to the uh, here and if you if you if you can see here, basically the uh, the service side JavaScript uh, is having the request panel, the such like uh, command CMD, as well as the filter, so on and so forth, which basically eventually is going to be to have a dispatcher for the command. If login, it translates to the uh, service layer path uh, request to login. And then if uh, it's a uh, uh, add, and we're going to make a post. If an update, we're going to make a patch. Uh, in this case. And all of the service uh, code, all of the code to service layer will be run through the, to this uh, the proxy, which can be using in the uh, future project. And then in the login page, uh, once you have the login successfully, uh, you would uh, it will redirect you will re redirect the page uh, to the indexed XML. That was the uh, the VR app. So the index XML uh, basically. You were loading um, several uh, index XML. You basically you're loading several uh, client side JavaScript like the global JS or called SLDJS. And then you're calling the uh, get orders function. Basically, this get order function is from this client side JavaScript called SLDJS. It's if you have a look at here, and then basically, um, this is logic. Uh, to get the open sales order is to make a call through the service side JavaScript and passing the object as orders and it is a get function and you can you can customize the uh, filter by the doc status by the customer and so on and so forth even by the object get invoice uh, you can get invoice instead of get orders as well and then once you succeed uh, to get the sales order you passing the result uh, to a global variable item JSON data which is also defined in, in the global uh, global JS as well, and which will be using to do the data bounding uh, basically in the view. So it's bounding with within the uh, master master view. Uh, the data bounding is inside the on on its. And first of all, uh, the view have defined uh, defined a list item. Have defined a list item, and this inside this list item is going to be showing the. Title as the car name is to the uh, the field doc total of the number and doc currency as the unit as well, and this is the data bounding how we've been we've been to do the data bounding, and then in the controller, uh, basically you will get the uh, item list, and then you will also create a new data uh, new JSON model, and the JSON model is is using the uh, this global variable uh, uh, for the open source world, and you set the data bounding. Uh, with this uh, line item uh, list and then as well as for the uh, detail view as well okay now once you have imported the theory app and then now we can try to uh, run the theory app so simply open the login page and we can run it and now let's give a go let's see how it go and then as you can see here, it returns a kind of error. Uh, request fail because we we need to uh, we need a trust store uh, to establish the SSO connection. 
So that means the the client HTTP client uh, that was um, HANA exchanging HANA server-side JavaScript when it's trying to uh, make the secure uh, connection to the server-side JavaScript uh, to the to the service layer, uh, it doesn't have in the trust store. Okay, so the trust store uh, it's something which would be uh, required in the exchanging if you want to establish the SSO connection to the uh, to another web server. All right, so the following step, uh, we are going to uh, we are going to set up the trust store. Uh, of service layer for uh, inside the uh, uh, exchanging. Step one, uh, we're going to export the public certificate of service layer. So if you open the, uh, if you're using the uh, browser like Google Chrome or like the uh, Internet Explorer, and if you're browsing the service layer uh, homepage, and you, you will get a kind of a uh, security warning which is just because I don't have the certificate installed in my local machine here so here we can and uh, open the development tool and then to view the certificate and then to copy the certificate to our local uh, folder and then we just keeping everything as the same and then to export it to our local uh, folder and let's now I opening my um, search layer with the Google Chrome and it give me the not secure warning and then I would like to export the I would like to obtain the package just open the developer tool and then you can go to the security tab and you'll be able to see the viewed security viewed certificate so basically this is the certificate um, self-signed self certificate uh, for my service layer and it's issued to the common name um, my service layer server name here okay to copy to export this certificate just go to details and click copy file to file and next and then give everything is by default and let's uh, export it and as a result uh, we I get my certificate exported uh, here and now with this certificate uh, we can uh, create a trust tool uh, for this certificate and therefore later on when I connect to service layer from the service JavaScript I can use this trust tool to establish the SS connection to my service layer just a side note you also can using the uh, uh, Internet Explorer you can click and then certificate error and then you can view the certificate the same uh, you can export it uh, to your local uh, file system okay next we are going to import the certificate of the service layer into the uh, X trust store and this time we're going to using the Han X admin tool which is the administration tool for the whole um, exchanging. Like you can using this tool uh, to manage the trust store or to manage the, the security and so on and so forth. If you would like to understand more about this HANA X admin tool, you can click the um, this URL uh, for further information. In order to using this tool, we it will require you uh, at least two roles. Uh, for in our case, um, trust or administrator role as well as the HTTP destination administrator role, uh, and then you can uh, you can open this uh, administration tool using the URL uh, here. And with this um, tool, we can uh, in the trust manager uh, we can create a new uh, trust role, and then we can import. Uh, the substate sub certificate we just export in last step uh, into this trust store and then we can uh, we can using this trust store of substate uh, in the uh, in the HTTP destination um, and then we'll, when I 
uh, in my server-side JavaScript, when I connect my uh, service layer, you can use this trust tool to establish the secure HTTP connection to service layer. And then there was one important note here. Um, later on, when we, uh, when we set up um, the um, B1 asset HTTP destination, you need to make sure uh, the consistent, um, the issue to the common name of in the certificate must be exactly the same as the host in the destination file. Otherwise, you may begin um, some security error uh, just because mismatched of the uh, common name here. Okay, let's go back to the demo system. Now, I'm opening the exit. Now let's go to the task manager of X admin tool. And I'm going to create a new trust tool by click add button. You can call it B1SO. And make sure you have selected the new trust tool you have just created. Now I'm going to import the certificate of the service layer into this trust tool. Now the certificate has been imported successfully. First thing now, uh, the next thing you need to do, uh, you're going to replace the host uh, for your uh, for your host uh, for your host here, and then. The next thing is, uh, with that, the next thing is we need to go to the uh, go to the configuration. Uh, now, in this time, we're going to using the X artifact artifact administration. This is our SDP destination. To accessing this function, uh, you will require the SDP destination administrator uh, role. For our case, we will config the authentication details to using the uh, service layer and so on and so forth. Let's click edit. And we are going to enable the SS in, um, connection because service layer require secure connection. And then we're going to specify the trust tool as the, the one we created. And we are going to use the client certificate for the authentication type and just save it. Once I've done that, and then now let's go back to the run the application again. Now after you have logged into the service layer successfully, and then now it direct to the index page. Uh, for the index page, uh, the first operation you is doing uh, is to get the orders. You get the orders, you call in the get orders. And basically the get orders is from uh, the, the core asset JavaScript. Now we have been successful to run our Fiori app um, here um, as usual. You can cancel and then you can close. Uh, you are involving the uh, server-side JavaScript code. Here, we have successfully to set up and run our sample theory app. And thank you for your time.